What's up, guys? I am currently on tour with the Jokers in the last leg of this tour right now. So if you're going to see us, this is the time. This will be it. There's about 25 cities online right now. You can go to SavileCounterComedy.com for tickets. want to call out two specifically. May 5th, we will be playing Radio City Music Hall, hometown show, first in many years. That is on sale right now. We are extremely excited about that, and there will be surprises at that show. That's all I can tell you, so... Take it from there. April 21st is another big one in Chicago at the Chicago Theater. Two of our favorite theaters to play, uh, if not our favorite. So those are the ones I wanted to highlight. But don't worry, because we are going to be in Hollywood, Florida, Tampa, Florida, uh, March 23rd and 24th. And then we're going to Cincinnati, Youngstown, Ohio. We're going to uh, Foxwoods on April 27th. For two shows. We are going to Orlando, Atlanta, Mobile, Alabama. We're going to Grantville, Pennsylvania, Atlantic City, New Jersey for two shows at the Ocean Casino Resort in July, uh, Bethel Wood Center for the Arts in Bethel, New York, Broadway Stage at the SPAC in Saratoga Springs, and then Guilford, New Hampshire, Bangor, Maine, Syracuse, New York, and Durham, North Carolina, as well as Hanover, Maryland to round it all out. So we're going everywhere, but this is the last of it. So if you live there and you want to see us, check it out. The show is interactive. It's a lot of fun. We're not doing it after this uh so hope to see you there salicanocomedy.com and practicaljokerslive.com for tickets and there are new episodes of jokers on every week right now at thursday 10 p.m on tbs folks taste buddy joe de rosa here and i got a big announcement as you probably already know my buddy sal volcano is playing radio city music hall along with our buddies and his buddies brian quinn and james murray the impractical jokers on may 5th and guess who's joining them i am I'm opening the show that night, so get your tickets. It's going to be a lot of fun. But I also got my own road dates coming up after the fact. Well, some of them are actually before. April 12th, I'll be in Beacon, New York, okay? April 19th, I'll be in Wilmington, Delaware. And May 3rd, just before the Joker show, I'll be in Hamden, Connecticut. You can get the tickets for my shows at JoeDeRosa.com and come check out me opening up for my boys, the Jokers, on May 5th at Radio City Music Hall. We will see you out there. And as always, if you're in New York, come by Joey Rose's. Get a sandwich. Get some drinks. Have some fun. We open every day at 11.30 a.m. JoeyRoses.com. All right, folks. I'm going to see you soon. Bye. Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools going to fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man. Tasties. Welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds. Hot off the presses, meaning right off of the Joker's Eric Andre cruise. <laughs> back I mean, in the freezing cold weather. I will tell you this. If you came on the cruise, then you you know. If you know, you know. If you didn't come on this cruise, it was the fifth cruise. Honestly, I didn't think I'd want to do another cruise. Uh, we did this cruise, and uh, it's a, it's just it's exhaustive, you know. And I also bring my family and things like that, and so it's 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 a it's a it's a big task yeah uh it takes a lot out of me it's pretty stressful because you know I'm, i travel with them and we're in a big 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 group and then i perform all day and night i give everything to this thing it's a blast but it is it is just it sucks a lot out of you i didn't think we'd do another one and i gotta say i was so so surprised by this one because it was one of my all-time favorites it, it might yeah. be my it was so much fun that i said to eric after what i said honestly dude I didn't think I want to do another one, and I think I want to do another one after this. If they asked me, I would probably say yes immediately. Uh, if you do another one, yeah, I, I demand <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. I'm just on it now. With yeah, you. I think I think that the, the the selling point of having live taste buds is inherent to me being on it. Right. So I don't see any qualms with rebooking you on it. Sometimes we like to not have the same accent, yeah. but I don't think that applies to you or us. I don't. I don't think so either. I so, feel that I have. I much like Joey Fatone have have. Sp- have moved into yeah. uh, consistency I status. You could tell by the people on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> you had a, fa- a boat of, of fans. It was there. wild. It was so, it was so much crazy. fun. Yeah. And let me just give a little shout out to the people that went on this cruise because every year, every year, I mean, no one chooses to spend their vacation with you, time, money, whatever, and you curate. Like, this is a big commitment. You got to be a big fan to say, all right, I'm going to yeah. go five days on this cruise, let these guys curate it. It's enough for me. Here's my good hard earned money. Show me a good time. But every person there was like, this was the best time of my life. And, you know, you guys, so they're always enthusiastic, but something about this year, every show, which it was like 30 shows going on at all times, every show was standing room only and every crowd. Now, I remember I've done this a lot of times. Yeah. 
it's not like I had a bad show there or people had yeah. a bad show, yeah. but there's differently levels to it. Yeah. You know, you could have a, you know, people that are tired or like, you know, something's not clicking just like any other audience. An audience yeah. could be okay. Every true or false it's for the shows you did, because you did you did stand up and you did my pod. I did stand up and in the pod, and, and I did my also, pod. As, I did my uh, headline show as well, and then we did. But then I also did. I did tons of ancillary show, or yeah. auxiliary shows, yeah. like like I did ton, like wild, like judging beer pong with Q, yeah. and then us playing the champions. I played with Q in the poker chart championship. <laughs> like, you, so, so you I was did doing those. crazy shit. So I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I hosted the belly flop competition, <laughs> the lip sync competition, uh -huh. um, and then there was another one I did. I forget what uh, I did. Steve O's pod, uh, and then I was on the guest on the Eric Andre show, the, his live show, which was lunacy. Um, I heard about it that. Was, it was nonstop. We closed out every night with Cypher Sounds and Carrie Called the Cat. It was a party every single day and night. But anyway, every single show was standing room only and every single crowd across yes. five, four or five days of shows, every single show, no matter where the venue was, it was a white hot crowd. It, it really was. It, it was, was wild. You guys were wild. It was like it was so pent up or something. You were so enthusiastic and so supportive, and you showed all of our acts so much love. Uh, but it was like the audiences were raucous. The hundred percent. The love. The love was was wild. I said this to you at one point. It's so funny, dude. Nine out of the. Nine out of ten conversations that I had with you on the ship were done in the corner of a stage during a live show. Yeah. Because <laughs> everybody was doing shows the whole time. And the only time I'd see you really was like, we'd end up on karaoke stage, the karaoke stage together. And I'd yeah. pull you to the side to tell you how much I loved you and thank you or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. And, um, but uh, I remember saying to you, hey, there's Shelby. I made friends with her on the boat. Oh, uh, these, are, these are photos from this one? How'd you find that? It's up already? Oh, wow. Amazing. Um, anyway, I said to you at one point, I go, dude, the last time I did this cruise, it was the third cruise, and I was in a different place in my career, granted, but I was on just as a stand-up, and it was way before Taste Buds was ever even thought of. Right. It was the cruise where the first argument happened. Right. And and I got, it was beautiful, and I had a lot of fun, but like, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a fun experience, and there were some fans and whatever. This time... I, I, and I don't say this to sh in any way to stroke in my own ego. I had no idea. I had no idea. Well, it's a, sh a sh dedicated ship of fans. I mean, but I didn't. But you're in now. I mean, this is three years we're doing this. I know. And I, but I didn't, we've never done this live, you know? Right. And like, obviously fans come to my stamp shows and they, they love taste. But I, I'm aware of it. Yeah. But like, I'm telling you, I was telling my manager today, I go, dude, I was not ready. And I mean that in a good way. Yeah. I was not ready to be on that, to, to conceive of what it was going to be like to be on that boat as now like, uh, like an, an extension of the jokers through doing this show to right, you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is that yeah. fair to say? Yeah, yeah. And it was like, it was so, I took so many pictures. I hugged so many people. It's yeah. a miracle. I don't have COVID right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, Did you see this, this, uh, this girl who came on stage for the lipstick contest, uh, as fully Ronald McDonald. Yes. And then you don't know this, but she, she dropped her pants and on the ass of her jeans and said, I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> and then she held up cards that she said, this is how Joe De DeRosa has described McDonald's all the ways he described it over the years. Yeah. And it was like 15 index, like a big poster board card. Yeah. And it was everything from like, it was so funny. And but she sang and she lip synced uh, Ricotta Salata. Sauce with <laughs> Salsa Windfall, yeah. She, what's the name of the song? Uh, Mouth on My Money. She, that was her lip sync song. I was walking off the deck, and she ran up to me. She gave me a McDonald's you me, shirt. Dude, get this. Yeah. There's a girl on stage. I'm like, dude, I'm judging it. Yeah. She's like, I, right now I'm about to. She's like, where are you going? I go, I have to be somewhere. What are you doing? And she's like, I'm about to lip sync your song right now. I was yeah. like, this is nuts, man. There's always this a, is nuts. Yeah, I've, I've, there's always people falling off and breaking themselves and stuff. This, this poor girl, she was partying and she got stitches and was walking around on crutches. The this McDonald's is not, girl. This is a selling point. The no, no. Oh, different no. girl. I mean, it's just, it's just fun. It's just, man, she was happy about it. 
This was it was just not, this was we the had, beer pong. We had on here we had uh, Nick Rutherford, David Gabore, we had mm-hmm. Adam Ray, we had Maddie Smith, um, we had Saif, we had you, we had Tone Bell. Um, I mean, we had Chris Johnson, Jiggy, a lot of comics, mm-hmm. and then we had some amazing ones. We had this band from Philly that played. They had all brass. They were amazing. Yeah, they were great. Uh, Snack Time, they were dope. And then our Staten Island boys from the Flying Wasps. Just the bands were amazing. And the karaoke was amazing. killed the cat. The karaoke killed the cat guys, yeah. which they came out of like quote unquote retirement to do this. Just killed it again. Uh, and don't leave out the man. The man I became friends with on this cruise, Joey Fatone, is the greatest dude. I told you. He's yeah. the greatest dude. You didn't know this? I knew he was nice, and I talked to him a few times Ryan at different Cabrera things. Ryan Cabrera was DJing on mm. there. Um, Fatone. Fatone just, Fatone's like you. He just comes by extension because he hosts all the shows, and he just basically joins everything. He was like, dude, he ran up to me the first night. I saw him, and I was like, I, I want to I know this guy more. And he looked at me, and I looked at him, and I go, hey, man, like, being like, I don't know if you know who I am. And he was like, and he ran up yeah. to me, and he goes, I love the way you trash Sal on that <laughs> podcast. And I was like, what's up, dude? And we started talking, and we drank every night somewhere. Yeah. Like, he's always We bonding, really yeah. bonded, man. He was a great dude, man. Yeah. He's and great. Steve-O was really great. I never met him before that. Um, Eric Andre... It Eric's was, Eric's great. He man. was awesome. I, it was I, awesome. I, it was really nice seeing Eric. I he, haven't seen he Eric. He wants to do another one. He texted me. We were texting me. He's like, dude, that was the. Uh, he's. Let me see. Maybe I want. Let me see because he wrote something like he's like that might have been the best week of my life. <laughs> it's that good. That's it was I, so fun, man. It was so fun. I was telling a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours. Um, I was like, hey, you got to go on this boat. And she was like, I know I want to, but why? Like, tell me why it's fun. I go, it was, it, I go, it might have been the most fun I've ever had in my life. I'm right. not exaggerating. And we've been to fun parties yeah. and fun festivals. Yeah. And Eric she goes, said, dude, it was the trip of a lifetime. It was, she goes, but she goes, she goes, but tell me why was it the most fun? And I go, I would wake up, I would eat breakfast. I would have a cocktail. I would sit in a hot tub with best friends. Yeah. I would get out of the hot tub. I would go to a show. I would get showered. And the show would kill. Like, it was yeah. great shows. I would go judge beer pong. I would then do my podcast with Sal. Like, I was like, it was, I would end every night singing karaoke. Like, it was crazy. It was, it was just, it was that, repeat that. Oh over and God. over and over. Like, it was like, you know, by the by the few days in, you start to get to know everybody. New friendships are forming. Yes. Like, and then you're like, and it's also that whole thing that's like, anything can happen. Yes. Like, if you pass someone, they're like, I want you to come on my show. Then you just jump on that show. And everyone's doing each other's shows. And everyone's like coming back with stories. Did you catch what happened over there? And yeah. then that's spreading around. And then something else yeah. happens. There was awful. There was, a, there was a full wrestling league on the boat. They erected a full, um, a full ring. And this whole entire, like, independent independent little like kind of league that they do uh, called awful wrestling shout out to them I, I i didn't get to spend a lot of time with those guys but there was even wrestling it was just ridiculous was something for everybody mm-hmm. i met two thousand people i even i took a three hour like we did a three hour meet and greet with everybody too how many people were on that boat i was trying to tell my uh, mom how many people were there it's like somewhere between two and three thousand wild times man yeah. wild wild times q and i I've talked about this a lot on on this podcast. We've talked about the beer pong rivalry. So we judged the beer pong competition. Yeah. And then the cha- he, the thing was was he had to play the champion and he was like be my partner to play the championship team. <laughs> so I go, let's split up the team. <laughs> and make good, each yeah, of one idea. of them go with us and he's yeah. like, "Oh, dude, all right." So it was me versus Q and then and whatever and the team split up. And dude, I stunk so bad. He he built up so much, like how much should I talk and everything. I stunk so bad. You just hit the bed. I didn't hit one cup. Neither did he. He hits the winning cup, right? <laughs> so then we have two shots to tie it up. They have they have uh, one cup left on sure. their side. My teammate hits the cup. <laughs> so and that it means comes down to me. If you hit the cup, you win. Yeah. If you don't, you yes. really rack. No, 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 no. It was, it you was, you got to beat him. It was, it was, if I hit the cup, I'm sorry, they had two cups left. Q hit the winning cup on our side. Okay. And they were like, if you guys can sink those two cups, gotcha. you can tie it up. Gotcha. My teammate hits the one cup. 
Oh. And it's the final cup, and it comes down to me. <laughs> There's like a movie. Oh, it was God. crazy, dude. Like the whole place was silent. Two Joe people were one cup. Booing. <laughs> it was so. F- I missed it. I didn't even come close yeah. to the cup. Yeah. I missed it so hard. <laughs> That's so funny. But dude, we were just like this was per like every moment like that <laughs> doing taste buds with you taste buds it guys. It was perfect, we're man. Gonna, we're, we're we're I'm gonna end up putting these two. Li- it was the first two live sh- taste buds ever. We're gonna end up putting these out as episodes, absolutely, because they worked. They might have been two of the funnest shows. In fact, they might already be out. We don't know when this is coming out. Yeah, we don't know when we're putting it out. So if you saw it already, great. You know how that that, that you saw that what a good time we had. If you didn't see it, I will tell you this: Adam Ray. Uh, if you don't know him, he, he, I don't think he's been on the show yet. He wants to come, but he's a he's a, like one the of best. my dearest friends, and he is an a, an, a, an amazing comic. He's at, based out of LA. You've probably seen him in a million things. Guy is one of the most talented people. I'm hoping he gets on to uh, SNL soon. If he, I mean, really, yeah. But uh, he does this Doctor Phil impression that he's been doing, and he gets prosthetics put on so he looks like him, and he runs these shows, Doctor Phil and Friends, out of the Comedy Store in LA, and that kind of blew up, and they went on Kill Tony, which is a pod that's blowing yeah. up, and he did he, he did and. Anyway, he he is so funny in this impression, and he ended up being. We wanted to go to the phones, and so we were like, "Let's go to the audience." So we needed an audience mic. Yeah. So Adam Ray was going to do it, and then we were like, "What if he does it as Doctor Phil?" Because you said on the first show. It would have been fun to have a Donahue style guy in the audience, we, we, and we then we both go, went Adam Ray. We were talking to the audience, but we didn't. Yeah, yeah. and then he he was Doctor Phil as the audience mic, and it. I mean, I had tears streaming down my face. Yeah, I told him at one point after the show that I go, dude, I bent over. I had, I had almost like a migraine headache from laughing so yeah. hard. It was yeah. so, it was so amazing. Watch for that. Uh, and then there's this other thing that I did for the first time in five years, which is an idea you had that I ran with. And I got a little space on that ship, oh, oh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lounge space. Yeah. And we had a late night, old school classics, hip hop. Yes. Party. Uh, R&B, the hip-hop party, yeah. Yes. And it was like all of the like the performers, the crew, the family, the friends, and uh, and Syph and our buddy uh, Lord Easy and DJed Tony, it. And Tone Bell. And, so we were, and that was like, I never did that before. And I'm always going, 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 working, run, 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 run. And I just like, that was for me to attend and just hang out. Yeah. Which I never get to do. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I had the most fun time. Imagine, yeah. imagine having a, a really cool spot that you go out to like this place was like a lounge bowling alley. They had a little dance floor. It was cool. It was intimate. It was small, right? It was fun. But imagine you can control every person that's in there. Like all your friends that you want to be there. And then you also like, I'm going to say what the music is. Like, this is the issue with me now. Like if I ever go out and end up doing something like that, it's like so hard to find the right vibe for me. So like, Seif, Seif and I have been talking about that. He came to me once. To, yeah. yeah. Like we ta- we've been talking about that idea since the third cruise. Yeah. He and I have been saying we should do that. We should do that. We should do that. And we finally did it, which yeah. is great. And I, I best thousand time. percent want to do that again somewhere. How, like, we had the best, yeah, best time. Yeah, that was so fun. He came to you. What did you say? I'm sorry. No, he's talking about like doing it again. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we but were, doing it like like doing it elsewhere. We were talking on the boat about yeah. that, and uh, and we we already had a few ideas of like how it could. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. I yeah. was. I called him today on the way out here. I was like, dude, I do not want to lose sight of this. Like, yeah. So point being yeah. is that uh, if you've seen the two live apps already. Great. If not, you guys have a lot of uh, two fun ups coming to you. And then just if and when we do this cruise again, man, I just I'm just telling you genuinely because I wouldn't say otherwise. Don't miss this cruise if you have the availability and and the means to go. All right. Well, enough of the lovey dovey bullshit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's get back to what we do on this show. We, we also we also did a sunny and salty on stage, didn't we? We did a salty, and we didn't get salty because Adam came out, and it was too. We were we were too busy laughing at Adam. But no, we, we did were a, fighting with the crowd. Everybody it was fun. It was we fun. did. I remember. What, I remember one point in one of the shows. Again, guys, sorry if you already saw it, but I I was telling Adam. I was like, if you've got a good buffet, put your hand up, and Adam will come up to you and tell us the name of it. And people kept yelling it out, and I was like, stop yelling it out, <laughs> and you go. You go, you're getting a taste. You're all getting a taste. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what it's like. And now you know what it's like. You were chastising people. You were going on people. And so I'm like, you guys asked for it. Yeah. <laughs> now you know how I feel. 
<laughs> I mean, it was, it was so funny. People were getting hostile with you. Oh, Remember yeah. Remember the people from behind the crates? Yeah, it was great, yeah. man. People were, yeah, people were bowing, and oh, that was great. So dude. funny, dude. It was perfect. People brought bingo. They brought Taste Buds bingo. Yeah, yeah. And so everyone had these bingo cards with all things that like happen frequently enough on the show and they were playing like drinking bingo as we went and shout outs please shout outs to anybody and everybody it's to everybody the fans you're unbelievable I'm, I'm so touched i love all of you we all we love all of you but but shout outs to to anybody that brought like people were giving us t-shirts they had made t-shirts the show work. like Things it was, it was crazy gifts. it was like, crazy yeah not necessary it's very appreciated and uh yeah yeah, yeah it was wild so um uh, all right, here we go. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The show when we did, no matter what happens, I love you. That was the one that actually got salty. That was, that the, was the one, one that got intense. That was the one where people were sc screaming yeah. at me and doing and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. It's like it was like this. It was finally. We always said this was like wrestling, and it really was like wrestling. Why don't we do this? Why don't we just make sure that we put these two episodes up after this? Okay. So that we can talk about because I want to reveal too what the what the, we control it, right? So just let make sure we'll hold those and it'll go up after we after this. Okay, one. you want to do that? Okay. Yeah, it's something to look forward to. So because I want to say tell them what the battles were as well. Do we wanna do we wanna give it away? Or do we not want to give it away? I think there's not no harm, no foul. I mean it's gonna get released and they're gonna read it. Yeah, I guess thumbnail. you're right. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough. So Joe had the idea because the unless we talked about it on one of these already. We did you we did last time we recorded, you did say on the boat we're gonna do Okay, so we the did rematch do that. So of yeah. Because the first fight ever happened on the boat. Right. And it was it was about Oreo versus chocolate chip. And so Joe wanted to do like a full circle type of thing live with them. Yeah. And so the first battle was Oreo versus Chocolate Chip rematch yeah. with a with live crowd. And on that one, we did the, uh, as you, uh, well, well, you'll see. I don't want to give away stuff, but that's the one that I would say got, got salty, even though we said we did I Love You. Yeah. It got a little more intense. And then the second ep was the Adam Ray one. And that battle, because we were on a cruise ship and the buffet. That was, a, I got to give credit to my gal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was like, no. I was like, she said it, and I was like, oh my God, that's really good. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I came up with Buffet. Buff. But then we were I like, what are we going to put up So buffet? give me half. The, but I'm your other half. Buffet was great because we're on a cruise ship, but that's what I said. You are my other half. half. You are my other half. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, <laughs> but, but it's like, Buffet is going to get, like, what do you put against Buffet? These are all people that are going to a Buffet that, yeah. like, you know, so, but it's like, what what can go, and, and they, she was like, taste a tasting menu, a chef's menu, yes. which is where you go, you know, omakase if it's sushi, whatever, but where you go and it's, it's smaller ingredients, it's a taste a tour of the whole menu that the chef picks out himself that you don't and uh it's the exact opposite like it's 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 not all you can eat it's finite you don't pick it yourself they yeah. do and it's not like the same exact menu usually that menu is elevated it's for fine dining establishments and, yeah so it was the polar opposite yeah and they really really worked good together as far as the battle goes and this is the only other thing i'll say about these apps because I, again i don't want to give too much away the only other thing i'll say is it was the first time we ever did poll in the room. We did not tweet it again. Like it was just the only people that could vote were in the room for those two episodes. And we, cause we wanted to see if it had an effect. Right. And it did. Yes. Both battles were way closer than either of us thought yeah. because you could see in real time people kind of starting to change their minds well, well, and stuff. We, well, so we, we said that. We yeah. said, look, as you guys are fans, you all know this, how this goes. I mean, it was hundreds of people there. I said, do us a favor. Wipe away your preconceived notions and try to judge us based on the points we're making in the battle. You yeah. know, keep keep that that in mind. Don't just be like, "This is what I like." That's what I'm voting for at the end. Go off of our performances. Yeah. And it was they were two really good battles. They and were great. I, my concern with the live show because we did some Hey Babes live and they were fun, but. For me, I always question if the at-home listener, if it really translates, because when there's an audience there, at least for Hey Babe or my previous ones, you do have to play to the audiences that, that is there live. You can't just ignore them. And so inherently, it isn't necessarily the exact same rapport or dynamic of when you're sitting alone. And I don't know if that translated all that well when we did that with Hey Babe, uh, but this, I mean... That's what I kept saying it to was, you. It translated. I kept saying to you, there's a specific thing we do, and it's a specific thing that the fans of the shows like. Yeah. And let's be honest, at the end of the day, if you plucked, if you cut the audience 
mic out of those right. live shows, we would probably sound fairly similar to how yeah. we said we were acknowledging them and we were we were bringing them into it. Yeah, but given the nature of what it is, it's it's a battle. Like yeah. it's a battle. So eventually, it's going to the focus is going to be on the battle. You and know I mean? will tell you, the audience made me hyper focused yeah it made me work and, harder and, and did, didn't you think that like the points you were making the counterpoints and all this because even in oreo and chips ahoy we did it before there was a part in the first episode where i was like we, we had like 30 minutes left and i was like uh-oh like in my head i was like Shh, man like i just got like a little tired and i was like i gotta i got like you know like and i had to i was yeah it was like it was like all right i getting my shit together here. yeah because i thought i'd run out of stuff to say and then i got my second wind but yeah. it was because the audience was there i was like it charged right, me up like, normally i listen to you and maybe i'm thinking of uh, ahead of the knot whatever but i know that they're there and i'm looking to go you know uh, you know have them laughing and going at it so i was i was like i thought it enhanced the battle like, oh it was awesome man all right all right so that's enough about the grooves and that's enough about these eps you, uh yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to actually watch the live apps because me too. I want to. I want to relive them. Me too. Um, all right, folks. Today we are battling. Oh, Seven <laughs> Eleven versus Starbucks. Yes, two major Ti chains, two titans, two titans, and, and, and two kings of their own industries. Really. Absolutely. And, uh, and you know, not really restaurants, obviously. Not at all. They are, they are convenience stores in their own right. Sure. 7-Eleven is a true convenience store. Starbucks is a convenience it's store, fast, more or less. It's fast coffee, yeah, fast yeah. food, you know, it's uh, built yeah. around the same ideals. They got the little pastries and things, the coconut dream bars and what have you. You could go into a Starbucks and cobble a meal together if you had to. Yeah, just they, as you could they, sell, they other. sell sandwiches yeah, and breakfast yeah. foods and salads and um, stuff. So here we are. Uh, a lot of fans have asked for 7-Eleven versus Wawa. Wawa is just not, it's not known enough, unfortunately. But uh, well, Wawa is my jam, but also, yeah, it's not known enough. It's not, but also it, it would be two battling two of the same kind of types of things, you know? Well, no, no, Wawa has a full deli. Yeah. Which is, I'll put up against most delis. And I, I you'd, you'd never get me to not side with Wawa. So it would have been moody. I, anyway. I love Wawa. I've been going there since I'm a kid. It's great. Um. Anyway. We're doing 7-Eleven well, versus... Well, if you're watching, and we know that you are, we've mentioned you in the past, but I'll just mention you again. I just love you, your product, and your brand. You never let me down. I, f I can fill up a tank and get fresh bread. How, fr how have you been going there since you were a kid? Jersey. You lived in Jersey? No, but it's next door. I go to oh, Jersey okay. all the time. I mean, I, I feel like I, I've been going there I since I was a kid. I have family there. We, uh, we would go to the beach when we I grew old. up next to one of the first Wawa's. I used to ride my bike to it. And we, wow. we would get sodas. Wow, wow. And we would get sodas and hoagies <laughs> and sit in the back on our on, on the little grass hill yeah. behind the 7-Eleven Wawa. On, I mean, the Wawa, the 7-Eleven Wawa, behind the Wawa on Main Street in College yeah. Pennsylvania. We used to go down to the, like, from when we were little and we would go to the beach as, like, literally, like, toddlers. We'd always pass Wawa, so we'd go in. Over. Wow. They're yeah. the best. They're the best. Okay. Wawa, Wawa, you're the best. I'm from where you're from. We love you, Wawa. Hook me up, Wawa. Yeah. Don't just go with the guy with the TV show, right? Maybe you send or, me some merch. I mean, you know, but send it to me first. Send it to... <laughs> I think I got them to sign off that I could wear their product on my show, I think. You should. I was talking to, like, the head Wawa in charge over there. I mean, there's nothing funnier that they sent you product and not Jay Okerson. I mean, there's just nothing funnier. Uh, well, I, I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> I asked, I think. Yeah, no, he talks about Wawa a lot on Bonfire. I think I asked directly, like, send me merch. Wawa, send me merch. I'm asking directly, Wawa, please. I, listen, if it's going to be a t-shirt or a hoodie, I got the hoodie. And by the way. I need a smaller hoodie, but I, 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 it's, I'm it's i going to wear black only. I can't be wearing, like, you know, very, very, like, I don't wear white, white. It's and I was not. also down, Wow, I want a sweatshirt, please, hoodie, sweatshirt, the pullover sweatshirt. Yeah. And by the way, Wawa, I was down before you went mainstream and got the gas, okay? I remember when it was just... Same. It, it was, was not, just hoagies. It wasn't a gas station. <laughs> well, when did it get? When did Wawa get gas? Uh, like two thousands. Oh God, yeah. Then yeah, my goodness. Yeah, so we yeah, started yeah. going in like the mid eight, like yeah. to late eighties. I remember the first time I saw one with gas. I was like, Oh my God, what is this? Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's get back into this. Yeah, ninety six. What is it? Ninety six. Ninety six. Wow. Yeah. Crunch. <laughs> all right, folks. Uh, I am Team Starbucks. Salas Team 7-Eleven. I'm very curious how, to see how this goes, but 
Let's get it started. Time to B A T T L E Buds. How All great right. was it hearing like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people scream? That? It was wild. Yeah, yeah. it was wild. Um, I mean, I don't even think there's an argument here. Guys, after years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I heard that Mint Mobile Wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase the three-month plan, I thought, what is the catch? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is they sell wireless service online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and they pass those sweet savings on to you. Mint Mobile is here to rescue with premium wireless plans for just 15 bucks a month. Say bye-bye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. Dude, I was paying way more than I had to pay. All plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivered to you on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. Ditch overpriced wireless with Mint Mobile's limited time deal and get premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month. To get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash taste buds. That's mintmobile.com slash taste buds. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, I don't know if you uh, have done therapy, haven't, if you're thinking about it. Um, I use therapy as a tool in my life. It has helped me uh, for many, many, many years now. Uh, and I was intimidated when I began uh, because it is intimidating. And what BetterHelp does is basically it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Uh, if you're thinking of starting, you can give it a try. You just fill out a questionnaire. You get matched with a therapist, licensed therapist, and you can switch at any time for no additional charge. So you don't even have to leave your home, basically, right? And a lot of people associate therapy with like solving some type of problem, but it's just great to process your thoughts, to reflect on things, and to just, you do find more out about yourself. And so some people use it, you know, to to learn about themselves and, and find out where their interests go, where they should be spending their time. You know, you'd be surprised uh, how much you don't realize if you don't process your thoughts. So learn to make time for what makes you happy with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash taste buds today to get 10% off of your first month. That's better help. H E L P.com slash taste buds. Butcher Box, guys, get incredible deals on premium cuts from Butcher Box. Deals this good are hard to come by at the grocery store. I love Butcher Box. I, uh, I have a subscription and uh, I get pre picked amazing uh, meats and, and protein sent to my house um, by clicking a button when I need it. And it always comes through. I, when I go to the grocery store, I don't even have to waste my time on those things because I know they're already coming and I already trust it and I know what I'm getting. Um, Peace of mind, easily find high quality meat and seafood you can trust. That's 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork raised crate free, and wild caught seafood. They're humanely raised, there's no antibiotics, no hormones, and added hormones in anything they, they deliver to you. It's right to your doorstep. It's free shipping always. You can curate your own box or pick from their, their pre customized boxes. And let's talk about the value. A variety of high quality cuts is the value is amazing. There's exclusive member deals. There's recipe inspiration, guides, tips, and hacks. It's really cool. Um, and basically, you, time is money to me. So if I'm saving time at the grocery store, I'm saving money. Um, and they give a, an amazing deal. You get free proteins for a year. It's in, it's insane. With ButcherBox, you don't have to worry about what's for dinner. ButcherBox is offering our listeners their choice of a weeknight meal essential: three pounds of chicken thighs two pounds of ground beef, or a pound of premium steak tips for free in every order for a whole year. Plus get $20 off of your first order. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash taste buds and use code taste buds to choose your free offer and get $20 off. Guys, using the internet without ExpressVPN is like leaving your laptop exposed at the coffee shop table while you run to the bathroom. And that is the perfect analogy. It really is. Most of the time, you're probably fine. But what if one day you come out of the bathroom and your laptop is gone? I, even before ExpressVPN uh, were sponsors on this show, I've been using them for, I would say, about five years now. I like using them because I want the peace of mind just to know that 24-7, I'm protected in that way. Um you know, I don't, there's just so many trackers and look, I think it's like the wild west out there on the internet. So for me, and I also just like, it's right there. I click the button, I turn it on, on, off whenever I need it. It's convenient. I travel a lot, right? So for me, it's like every time you connect to an unencrypted network, which is be cafes, hotels, airports, any hacker on that network can gain access to your personal data. It doesn't take much technical knowledge to even hack someone, just some cheap hardware. Literally, they, they say like a kid could do it. 
and hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling your info on the dark web, okay? Why use ExpressVPN? Encrypted tunnel creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Hackers can't steal your sensitive data. For me, that was enough. Then it's super secure. It take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. I didn't even know that. That's that's a flex right there. It's easy to use, right? You fire it up, like I said, one click uh, button to get protected and it works on every device. I have it on my phone, I have it on my laptop, it's on tablets and more. So you can stay secure on the go. Secure your online, you say data or data? I say data. I mean, I, I wouldn't, it's not like you won't ever hear the word data coming out of my mouth, yeah. but uh, secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash taste buds. That's express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash taste buds. And you can get an extra three months free expressvpn.com slash taste buds. I know. I think, gonna, I think I'm going to wipe the floor with you. Oh, uh, really? Well, for anyone, I mean, look, if people's like, I got to have my coffee. I mean, 7 Eleven sells coffee, right? So, unless you're a coffee snob and you need a $9 coffee, which is the biggest coffee. Not coffee. $9. Not $9. $3. I mean, your entry level coffee is how much? An entry level standard At Starbucks? coffee. Starbucks? Yeah. Three twenty five. dollars Entry level standard. Yeah. Black you, drip. A black drip is three something? Black drip, medium roast. With tax? Yeah, it's like three you tipping or are you not? Of course I'm tipping. Okay, what so am you're, I you're breaking five dollars for a cup of coffee. When I grew up and even now, you can get a cup of coffee for fifty cents. Well, I mean, let's talk How about much, look I, at this. Two ten, two ten for a tall, grande, two thirty five. I'm spending three fifty plus with the tip included. I mean, you're you're talking about the bare bones, man. People go in there and nobody's walking out of it. People are spending seven, eight, nine dollars on a car. You, well, you're, you're, all you're getting is bare bones coffee at a Seven Eleven. Now, if you want to talk about above and beyond a black coffee, then we could talk above and beyond a black coffee. But my yeah. point is, is if you're going to get a black coffee at Starbucks, you're spending about three bucks, and it's, you're it, out the door. It's, I mean. There's, and it's great coffee. There's so many things that like are just so easy to go at with Starbucks. They, it's known already, right? They're, go for it. I'm listening. It's insanely overpriced. It's not. We just established it's not overpriced. Your black drip is three twenty five. You're not walking out the door before five dollars with no, tip and tax. Wait, 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 stop. We just looked at the price. It was two sixty five for a large. <laughs> Tip I'd included, love to know the percentage of people that walk through that door. That's tip included. Them. You're at, you're at three fifty. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, how dare you say large? Because that's one of the dumb gripes with this dumb company. They don't say it. No, I have a whole Demi bit about short, that. Tall, grande, and venti. Okay. okay, so you're hot. Your ceiling price is three sixty five for a black or or with cream and sugar. And 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 if right plus tax plus tip. So you're at about five bucks. Yeah, shit, I did the math wrong. <laughs> a $5 cup of coffee. <laughs> if you took a time machine back to the 80s, At least 90s, even early. So what? So what, the 7-Eleven guy doesn't deserve a tip? No, you serve yourself in 7-Eleven, dingbat. Oh, no tip. Please. You're out the door for a buck. You serve yourself. Tops. A bu I'd be surprised if it's a buck. A large coffee will increase to three dollars at Seven Eleven, dude. Let's super cups. That's a super three cup, fifty. My friend. It's a super cup. I mean, but dude, yeah, I mean, we're that's, talking. That's, I mean, you're not going to get a, a ninety six ounce coffee at Starbucks. About, we're talking <laughs> about what are we talking First about? First of all, I talk you're to talking people. About coffee that's coming out of a thing that looks like a railroad pump. It's the coffee <laughs> it's that's been good enough for the entire world before Starbucks came in and started. It's selling us liquid coffee. I don't gold. know anybody that has ever sworn by a 7 Eleven coffee in my life. By the, <laughs> please. I don't know anybody. 7 Eleven has, 7 has sold more cups of coffee than Duncan, Starbucks. Duncan. Duncan shits on you guys. Duncan is running all over 7 Eleven's face in the breakfast department. When it comes to coffee, donuts, which is another area, 7 Eleven. You, you, mean, you mean to tell me that Dunkin' Donuts is outdoing 7 Eleven when it comes to donuts? Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. No well, babe, shit. Babe, I got Dunkin news for you. Donuts. Babe, I got All news. they sell is coffee and donuts. But babe, I got news for you. They're not open you. 24 hours. They don't sell a host of other things. I got they don't news have for their you. own branded but I got products. News for they you. don't have toys. They don't have windshield wiper fluid. But I got you can't news go for you. two in the morning. You can't get cigarettes. You can't have a conversation with normal people. I know. I, I got news for you. We just knocked. We just knocked a full meal off the countertop with 7-Eleven. Nobody wants their coffee and nobody wants their back for breakfast pastries. Nobody. Everybody would prefer a Starbucks don't, or a Dunkin'. Don't or a do Dunkin'. nobody everybody this time. Don't do nobody Okay, but everybody. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They have everything, right? What, well, let's get you into the get everything some, part. Some, 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 a some hot corn dog that looks like a disease. Pizza. pizza. What, looks like regardless. a corpse's penis. What, regard, well, 
Only you would know that. Um, they, <laughs> Am I wrong, though? Regardless, my point is it's a convenience store, okay? We know what it is. It's not putting on airs, okay, like Starbucks is. It's a cup of coffee. Airs. Yeah. How dare you? Starbucks airs. is putting on airs. Airs? That's like saying this guy puts a shirt on at the dinner table. He's putting on airs. I mean, 7-Eleven is the guy that comes to you. 7-Eleven is so gross, they had to put a sign in the window that says, you have to wear a shirt and shoes to come in that's here. That's not why. That was the first that's, place I ever saw that. that. That's not why. It's because it's open 24 hours a day, and a lot of them are near beach towns and what have yous. <laughs> That's yes. a swing, dude. That's no. a swing. A lot of them are near beach towns. Seven Eleven is, right. is a is a ten out of ten A plus for exactly what it is. It doesn't pretend to be something it's not. It is convenience and it is it is proven and it has always been there. And you know what you're getting. I'm not saying you're going to go in there and you're going to like their hot dog. You're not. You're going to like a hot pocket. You know, I like that. You can buy something in the frozen section and use the microwave to make it right there. I like oh, that they God, have. God, it's so gross, it, but it dude. It is, but Joe, you love going and getting your Slurpees and your Slushies anyway. I love I don't, Slurpees. I don't, I, don't, I, Slurpees. I don't necessarily go use it, but I did at one point, and I know that it is good for what it does. So, if you want a Slurpee, you go there. If you want a quick hot dog, you go there. If you're drunk, if you're out late, if nothing else is open you can get pizza hot dogs pastries you can get snacks so you can get chips me, you can get tips me, you can get pretzels, world, you can get chocolate you can get everything you want where you beer want. water hold on, soda hold on, hold on, 24 beer, 7 beer at only some of them cigarettes beer at only some of them it depends on what state you're in cigarettes fine i mean what are we talking about here but what, i'm just it, saying like, it's I'm a plus saying, so you can get cigarettes you sell coffee and, and this, wonderful this, and pastries, wonderful pastries, and wonderful wraps. You have and salads, all limited, and iced all limited, teas, all limited, and you hot got, chocolates. You got. Uh, you you got ever go to a Starbucks at Christmas? Got, it's got, like being at your nana's you house. Got, you got two or three. You, first it's of all, wonderful. You have the nerve to tell me about. Please wear a shirt. Starbucks is America's toilet. Oh, that's stop what it should it. be called. Stop everybody it. knows no, no, no. from soup to nuts. Everybody knows from the top to the bottom that if you need to take a. Oh, you need to take a piss. Nobody lets you. In New York City, has a billion businesses. When people need to go to the bathroom, they go to two places. We can't. Barnes and Noble and Starbucks. Starbucks let's is so use, funny. Let's, they put a code on the door because they put on airs. Okay. You sell coffee. You know people have the code. You, they, you pick up a receipt on the floor. You see the code. You, you go one time. They don't change the code. There you know is the not code. a person. You let me tell you something. Everybody. I'll tell you right let now. Let me tell you something. There let is me, the exact amount of people that are me, using Starbucks for shit. As coffee. Oh, please. I'm telling you right now. Please, please, please. I'm telling please. you right I now. I will tell you this right now. I will tell you this right now. There is not a person on planet Earth that says, I can't live without my 7-Eleven. Not one. Yes, there, there are... Legions, yes, legions of millions of people that go uh, Starbucks every day, and that's is pretentious. The start to my day is the start it's, to my it's day. It's not Starbucks; it's coffee. No, for a lot of people, it's Starbucks and I with the this. Frappuccinos and all that bullshit. Oh, you mean the things that are killing people that are giving us diabetes? You're talking about heat lamp pizza and chicken wings. What are you talking about? Yeah, but you know what you're getting. You think you're getting a frap? Check the nutrition contents on oh that. My God. There's like 80 grams of sugar. It's it's insane. You don't realize what you're Buddy, putting in your body because you they put me. sprinkles and they put the thing. And you, you hear fucking, you hear Sarah McLaughlin singing Silent Night. I, ch Get I out challenge. Of here with that shit. I challenge. Everybody's you. in there. Robin look at Wi these, Look at this horror show. Look at this. The cheeseburger not, shaped like a hot dog. You, if you're going in there to get <laughs> it, horrible. If you're stuff. going in there to get it, if you're going in there to look get it, look at this. Look at the meatballs. Look at those yes. things. Oh my. But that's not my. But, this but, is an abomination. But, that's, but that has nothing to do with my argument. My okay. argument is you it knows the, what it is. You love the Korean barbecue taquitos, etc. <laughs> I might not love one thing there. That has nothing to do with my Sal, argument. Look at this. You're not listening. Sal, to me. You're not listening. Look to me. at this. Stuff. You're not listening. Why? Why do you think that I would hinge my argument on if 7-Eleven's food is of a certain ilk or caliber? I'm because not. Because that's what you should no, be hinging it on. No, it's not. Because it it is. It is what it is. Though you can't go look at that. Burger. It's a 7-Eleven burger. It is what it it's, is. If you're going in there for it, you know what it is. You've had it. You're accepting was, it. I'm talking about what it is. You can let me get, tell you something. You can get 10, 20 different hot food items there. You can get ice cream. But, you can get everything. You get pastries. You can get you can get everything. Here, so it's a convenience but store. Why your it serves flawed. everybody. Here's why your There's argument's There's something flawed. for everyone in there. There's here's why your argument is, And it's open 24-7. Here's why your argument is flawed. Here's nothing why I said is flawed. In that, in that you, argument, nothing's I'm flawed. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me why. 7-Eleven was, let me finish, 
was a great convenience store when they did what they did and they did it right. There was a time where the hot dogs were solid. They sold hot dogs. That was it. That was the one hot food. They had Slurpees over there. They had a soda machine over there. They had some coffee over here. You don't want them to evolve. Hold on a second. Hold on. Then they had chips and candy. That was what 7-Eleven and drinks. That was what 7-Eleven was. And they got too big for their britches. And they started going, we're going to go. We're going to have burgers oh, now. Hold on, let me finish. Too let big finish. for their britches. You're talking about people that charge $9 for a... You, Sal, you, wait, you wait, let me finish. Large. Let no me finish. Large. Sal, let me finish. Stupid despite, coffee names. Despite it, is, despite it is what it is, if you don't want to eat any of it because it's so disgusting, it means it sucks. That's my point. It doesn't matter. There's something for everybody. You can go in there and choose for 900 everybody. other things. I love how you're talking if like you it's want, world cuisine. If you they're offering in if this you place. don't want a hamburger from them, don't get it. But you can still get a Snapple, cigarettes, a bag of chips. You can get a donut. You can get the newspaper. You can get a bag of ice. You can get Listen everything you, you need. In By there. the way, I think you can get Snapple at uh, Starbucks. Can you not? You could probably play the lottery. No. What are the what are the bottled drinks you can get at Starbucks? It's like three. That's another thing with them. Okay, you, you say they have one breakfast. healthy thing. You for, said, by the way, gambling, health, smoking, healthy. drinking, Why and eating. Stop, 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 stop. I'm not. I'm not. The, my barometer is not health. I will not accept that as a counter argument. I'm saying that this is a convenience store that's open 24 seven across the country for forever, and it is a staple. And people know what they're getting out of it. And you go there and you get what you need. I didn't say it was healthy food. I didn't say it was anything. I'm it just is, curious. It, it got, I got to be honest. If only one thing could be open, only one thing could be open. Starbucks dare, or Seven Eleven. One dare, has to close. I dare you to say you'd prefer the Seven Eleven. I dare you. A billion times. You're nuts. What do you mean, Joe? You're nuts. You need you need everything in there. Sal, maybe I'm not. Don't maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not saying it. it right. Maybe I'm not saying it right. You're in a town. They have two stores. You could choose. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bow dunk town in the middle of nowhere. You get to pick one store that, for that town. They don't have any other stores. If I pick in Seven Eleven, if I want to eat something half decent, yes, I'm, I, I'm picking Starbucks. Half decent is the exact same word. Don't act like you're some five star restaurant. I didn't say okay. we were. It's pre-made egg cakes that they heat up in a microwave. Or Chill, a turkey. Bro. Or turkey. Chill, or bro. turkey on a spinach wrap. Pre-made. Or vegetables. It, or a salad. You, you or, you're, you're, or talk, you're talking like that or an extensive coffee. menu. Or, you're, or, or, or you're a talking, pastry that has six ingredients versus 2,800. You're talking I, you know, about like, it like it's an extensive menu. There's two not breakfast an extensive sandwiches. Menu. There's three it's not pound cakes, I never said it was an extensive like menu. And there's like one wrap. I never and said not it, that great. I never and you got to wait. I never said it was an let's, extensive let's in, menu. Let's get into it. You got to wait online all the time. It's a stupid thing. In process because people are addicted to the sugar line? and coffee. To the line nine is yeah. a stupid process. Yeah, you got to every time you go. To, you have in the you have it yes, in the airport and you need to, you want to go to and you want to yes, Joe. You what travel for a living. Yes, and you want to get a coffee. Yeah. You go, Sal, and you look, there's you go, a line. I'm boarding. At, I'm boarding in twenty Sal, minutes. Oh, I can't even go to Starbucks. Sal, there's a line at everything in the airport. That's a terrible argument. There's always a line at Starbucks, even in Manhattan, bro. Uh, even well, Manhattan. Guess what? They don't even have a Seven Eleven in an airport because it's so. And gross, they won't even let them no, into the airport. Hudson they, News seven, has it unlocked. They don't need a convenience store. 7 Eleven is so gross. 7 Eleven is so dumb. gross that every airport in the country said, We'll put Slim Jims at the newsstand. <laughs> okay, please Everyone, do not uh, let that uh, chain into this place. But that's not what they said, though. You know, that's why it's not a, bit, not a good argument. That's oh why it's God. so silly. Oh, God. Neither is they the, don't need a 24 hour convenience store that does what 7 Eleven does. In I read it in plenty of your, your precious argument of 20. 24-7, 7-Eleven, uh, you can go in whenever you want. I have waited in tons of lines in a 7-Eleven late at night Give because me. every drunk on planet Earth is in there. What, behind two, three people? What? Two, three people? I've Not easily a- six deep. Easily. Okay. Easily. Starbucks. And by the way, Starbucks by the way, stanchions. By the way, it ain't a pleasant. Stanchions you, like ain't it's a a, disco you ain't in a pleasant Starbucks line in 7 Eleven. You are with the dregs of society Dude, buying by turkey way, jerky. Don't even act like you go into a Starbucks and you're, and you're seeing royalty in there. Like it's the. Uh, the, I'll, the, take the, 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 the yeah, I'll take it over the 7-Eleven crowd at QAM. I'll take it over the 7-Eleven. It's, it's no great Gatsby in there. This shit Never seen a crack at it in Starbucks. Shit smell eminent. You haven't? Nope. You live in New York City. You haven't? Not once. I've no. seen them get escorted out all the time. Yeah. People are having babies all the in the Starbucks bathroom. <laughs> all the time. They're having toilet You're babies up in there, Stop bro. it. They're having Don't, toilet babies. You're making things up. Venties. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make things up if I can't make things up. Don't make things up. No, they have them. Google it. Baby born in Starbucks bathroom. Google it. I'm sure it'll come up. 
You, you act like it's some upper class place. It's a it's a con game, bro. It's dumb people no, that are addicted to a drug say- that are going in to give them nine dollars and the stupid names. Not even the sizes. Not even and they, and it's smug. I have a, a medium, whatever. <laughs> What is what is medium? I, you, no, they do don't you, do that anymore. Do mean, they uh, don't do that anymore. Do you mean, uh, they don't do that anymore. I have a bit about it. They don't do that anymore. I have a bit about it. They don't do that anymore. I have a bit about it. They oh, don't do that anymore. Bit shit on them? Yeah. It oh, makes, no. It yeah, makes of fun of it. It, does. it, it makes, makes fun, fun of, of the fact that they tapped out on saying. On she just pulled up, he just pulled up the sizes and it said all the things that you said it didn't say. It, it, it doesn't say small, medium, large in there. No, it get the finger out of my <laughs> face. <laughs> the bit is about tolerance in America and how we don't have tolerance and how we all refuse to say venti to the point that they don't correct us at Starbucks anymore. Yeah. That's the bit. And that is and true. That's not the only dumb names. They're dumb Frappuccino and all the stupid names they make up and then they just dump peppermint in there and and, and sugar. And then, and then you got kids in America that are addicted to Starbucks that I are going to die. They're going to die, yeah, Joe. You're right, you're it's right. killing yeah, people. Yeah, feed them some Korean it's barbecue gonna... taquitos. That'll keep them alive. But but <coughs> Starbucks just sells that. That's what you go in for. You can go into a 7 Eleven and not buy a Korean taquito. Sell. Okay. Test but me. you can't get anything half decent I'll tell you for another you. Thing. I never I've never gone there's to a 7 Eleven and bought a Korean taquito. There's not one thing half decent for you being sold at a 7 Eleven. You're insane. Tell me what it is. Are you talking about nutrition's food? I am saying everything in there is the worst possible thing you could what eat. What do you mean? So you're just talking what about 7 I mean? Eleven's. What do you hot mean? What do food? I mean? What do you mean? No, that is five percent of the store. Every, it's hot food. It's, it's Joe. It's a mini supermarket, show. It's got everything. It's Shower. got every beverage. It's got every snack. And all of it is bad for you. It's soda. It's Doritos. It's water. It's, it's processed cakes. It's 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 it's, it's shelf pies that sit there for months at a right. time and don't go back to fill preservatives. So when you it's, it's, when you're training for a role and you need six cream. pack abs, do you it's, only eat at Starbucks? No, but oh, I'm okay. saying oh, to you, right, Sal, right. you're arguing. Here's my point. So it's a store that is convenient, that has everything that's been around you forever. You want to talk about everything wrong with America? This, if if the guy didn't make supersize me about McDonald's, he would have made it about 7-Eleven. It is literally the reason they're talking about cancer and, and uh, is on the uptick in this country. The is American diet. The American no. diet. The American diet. Processed food. Mother that's fuck all up. Half of it is the Frappuccinos, and I bet no, most of please. it is. Oh, let, what, what, what do you think? Look me in the eyes, and I want you to answer me seriously, okay? Yeah, yeah. Look me in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. What has taken out more people, you think? What has given more people diabetes? What has caused more people... Cigarettes. Let me finish! Yeah. What has caused more people problems in their life with their health and their their, their literal I'm, bodies? I'm, I'm, Frappuccinos or Korean taquitos from 7-Eleven? That's a niche product. You're, you're, they're, they're walking Sal. in... Seven, Starbucks is the Pied Piper. Of, they're disguising Every single coffee. thing sold at 7-Eleven keep, keep, is keep bad for you. Everything. Name That's me not- one good thing. Name me one thing at 7-Eleven if you did not put it into your body on a regular basis would not be horrifically bad for you. Joe, they sell water. Okay, okay, yes, Sal. They have bottled water at 7-Eleven. All right, Joe, then but you're saying every single supermarket has the worst things for you, too? No, there's Joe, plenty of healthy things in a supermarket. for you, Joe? I'm not arguing that they have good because food. I'm arguing their strengths. Because it's a, there are no strengths they is what I'm what saying. They are what they are, Joe. There are no strengths. For what they say they are, they are a 10 out of 10, buddy. Sal, it's That's, like, they're the king of what okay, they are. Okay, okay fine. You're, 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 you're making an argument Mar- against 7-Eleven that the food isn't great? Marlboro, That's so stupid. Marlboro cigarettes are better than Starbucks because they are what they bro, are. They I'm say what they are. I'm targeting Starbucks for things in the Starbucks. I'm t- they sell coffee. I'm targeting the coffee. They have a, everyone Target shits the in there. Coffee. Everyone shits in there. I'm targeting the shit. There's long lines. I target the lines. They got stupid names. I'm targeting names. I'm targeting they everything. Their fucking things, Ventis. No, they're not. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're talking about how it's not healthy and how that's they, what I'm targeting. It's not. That's it, what I'm targeting. It's not supposed to be healthy. Well, I think that that you're, is a strike against you're it. You're supposed to sell coffee, right? We do. Okay. This this is a convenience store. You're targeting that some people decide to put peppermint in their coffee or a candy cane, and that's what defines it. What I am it saying is. to you is this. What I'm saying to you is this. In a, in a Starbucks, there are items of quality. Those items are more quality than anything you find in a 7-Eleven. Therefore, it is a better place. It's overpriced bullshit, and the, and the food is like five choices. Stop acting like it's the some prices are, restaurant. The prices of coffee okay. are the same at 7-Eleven. You got salt of the earth people in a 7-Eleven. You go oh into a God. Starbucks, you got people taking shits, people stealing wine. Would you stop with and, the people taking shits? That is a that f- 
can call your name wrong. That they they, they, they oh, book stop you if you order it, Sal. wrong. Stop they it. You're making to move along. stop. Stop. You're making things Starbucks, up. Man, stop. Come on, they dude. want you to move Starbucks, along, but there's always a line. Starbucks. And they're, by the they're way, they're pretentious, but they learned. Yes, what, they what want the you to move along because there's always a line. Yes, exactly oh, right. Sal, stop, stop it. Also, by the Sal, way, I talk to a lot, a lot of people that are addicted to coffee. That I know a lot of people that love coffee. They cannot stand Starbucks. Okay. Hand to God. I want you to know. I want you to know. We need to go to the phones. You've embarrassed yourself here today. Not even close. Can we go to the phones? Your only argument against. 7-Eleven was that the is that everything the there is bad for you and causes cancer? Yeah. That's a hell of an you, argument. You, you, you didn't address it as uh, as what it is. I did. And what I'm saying no to you. No one's going there for healthy food. They know what they're Sal. getting into. That's not true, Sal. There is an epidemic in this country of people eating the wrong foods for them. There is documentary after documentary right. about it on Netflix right. or whatever else. So every supermarket is, is causing no, that as well? No, because supermarkets have healthy food too. This is not that. It's oh. not Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah, and that's the problem and with it. I, I would love to Google. I would love to Google because they definitely have statistics God. on this. For children, young children, what is affecting young children's health more? Convenience stores or, yes. or, Frappuccinos, or the so. coffee craze, the addiction okay. to coffee and caffeine, and the Frappuccinos? Who, who is selling more to young people? Who? Childhood who? obesity in the neighborhood food store. Let's yeah. read this. Did, Put in childhood obesity and Starbucks and Frappuccino. Put it oh, in. I God bet sakes. you you'll get dissertations you're right. on it. You're right, Sal. Kids yes. are drinking Frappuccinos drinking more coffee. than they're eating ice they cream are. and eating candy. They are. Sal, they are. this is absurd they are. Not, what you're not arguing. Not five-year-olds. Sal, this is absurd. Teenagers are addicted to Something coffee. I didn't drink that coffee. Camera. I didn't Something drink, is I didn't absurd. Drink coffee. This is, I didn't drink coffee until I was in my 20s. Sal, you got my, this is so... I'd see freshmen walking around with Stanley's full of coffee. Okay, Sal. Sal, let me just say this, please. Sal, let me just say this, please. An 11 year old smoke cigarettes. Notice how I'm not making that <laughs> argument about 7-Eleven? Notice how I'm not making Read that it. argument? Childhood obesity in Starbucks. What's up with that? Yeah. Oh, Let's congrats. You, you found also, the one. Also, you, also, found the, you, you skipped the article that supported my argument and screamed it was for first, your own. the first article that came up. No, she pulled it up. No. She pulled, the first also, article I'm that sorry, was up. You this had, is also 13 years old, so the problem has been happening. Hold on. Just stop. So we know. The, the, art, the first article up supported me. You screamed over it, and we jumped off of it. I didn't I didn't see the article. This is you're, because you didn't look at it. It was on the that screen. was before she Googled Starbucks. This is the first thing that came oh, up with Starbucks. Yes, Sal. Joe, Joe. And the first Joe, here's, here's what I'm saying. If you made a point, I would be like, fair point. Just go to the phones. Just go to the phones. But, You're but pissing me off. Of, go to the, the phones. None of the stuff I'm saying Just about go to Starbucks the is a fair point. Go yeah? to the phones. You're pissing me off. Go to the phones. But you're Starbucks, being unreasonable. No, you're not. Sal, I am so you're not, not being unreasonable. You're not getting into good points. I am. No, I'm not. You I'm won't getting into, in, you won't I'm into getting good into points. great points. You're too dumb okay. to understand you didn't, them. You didn't agree to one of my points. Not a single one. Because and I made plenty stupid. of good ones. They're that's all stupid. That's ignorant. Are you going to battle ignorance? Starbucks is for mid-20s college white women who drive light blue Volkswagen Jettas. There you go. There you go, baby. There you go. The innovative... No, read the next one. I'm reading it. <laughs> the next one. At Starbucks, you can get an I overpriced that coffee. that was the next one. And a trash breakfast sandwich. At 7 Eleven, you can get a lottery ticket, a cheese chili dog, a can of dip, and probably yelled at. <laughs> the innovative roller for the neck pain, migraines, and knots. No. That's, no, no, that's it. A <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were talking about the, the hot dog roller. It's the look at look at Read a magical everyone. roadside oasis. He's calling Seven Eleven with all essentials. There you go. Yeah, it's yeah, everything that's you need the essentials. For what it is. Yeah, Bud Light, that's what Marble you're Reds. But that's what you're ignoring. Cool Ranch what you're ignoring is that's what people go there for. They oh, give for the people God what they sakes. want. They're those not aren't essentials, Sal. They're those not aren't pretending essential. to be health food. Joe. He just said they were the essentials. How about I go, Starbucks is the worst sushi restaurant in the world. That's valid. That's the argument you're making. Sal. People don't go to sushi. Can I just say this one thing without you interrupting? Yeah. Please let me say this one thing without you interrupting I haven't it. been interrupting you. Yes, you have. Okay. Okay. You haven't you, been interrupting me. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. Say what you got to say. No, look at me and listen to what I'm about to say <laughs> to you. I'm listening. What I'm saying is this. I understand that that's not what they're promoting. There is a problem in the country. There are documentaries about it. That the, Stop. That the things that people have readily available all the time are terribly bad for them. 7-Eleven is one of those places. And so is Starbucks. So agree to disagree? I it don't is. agree that it Starbucks is, is anywhere thing. near it. It is a known it. thing that Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks because is causing an epidemic because in this country parent, with their sugary coffee. Because coffees. a parent, because whatever, I don't because care. a parent is letting a twelve-year-old drink coffee is a different argument than a kid going. It's in. happening. And okay, well, and that's where they're getting right. their coffee. You're crazy if you could say that people walk in and buy whatever they want. It's bad for them at Seven Eleven, but you can't attribute the same exact thing to Starbucks. You, it's that's not so the silly. same exact. It's not the same exact thing. Joe, nobody's going. 
to 7-Eleven to get healthy food. Everyone's going to Starbucks to get the Frappuccino. That's the difference. It's it's literally the flagship thing they sell is the bad thing for you. You op- you have options in 7-Eleven. People are All not right. going there for that. People think they're drinking coffee and they're, dr- they're killing themselves. All right. I can't believe you can't agree with that very, very well-known point. Uh, I think I, I I don't think it's a terrible point, but I don't think it's a great point. Seven and, Eleven and coffee. Read everyone. We're getting, we're, it's all joke responses. Read every, I, I can get boner a, pills there. Seven it's Eleven. No, that's not a joke. Seven Eleven is the only place they can get booze, cigarettes, and boner pills. Seven Eleven coffee is not great, and it do, but it doesn't pretend to be. Uh, b- but it, it shits it doesn't on pretend to be. But, but it shits on Starbucks sure. coffee. Yeah, yeah. It shits Read another on one. Seven Eleven. Where else can you get coffee, Con- condoms, and quite possibly and, and, tetanus? And tonight, and, t- and t- uh, tetanus. Tetanus. Uh, this is what I mean. It's like joke responses. But what they're saying 7-Eleven is, Seven Eleven is for the brave. But, uh, what, but what they're saying is, is that you can get anything. That that's why it's good. It's a convenience store. It is what it claims to be. I don't get what you're not saying. What you're not getting. It's, it's, it, uh, I started this off saying it's not putting on airs. No one's going there for healthy food. They don't claim to have healthy food. They are a convenience You've store. You've made this point 7,000 times. But, you know, but, it's I, fall, but it's falling it's on deaf ears. It's not falling on deaf ears. I'm aware that they don't claim to... Did you see Supersize Me? I'm about to say something against my beloved McDonald's. But did you did you see Supersize yeah. Me? It's not about them claiming they have healthy food. It's about the food people have access to conveniently mm-hmm. and the American diet and eating the wrong thing all the time. Okay. So if you let me, let me know when you want to speak And the that. Frappuccino point you're making is fair but what i'm saying is is if i had to choose between the two for a meal i have a fighting chance at a starbucks and i don't think you have a fighting chance at a 7-eleven i don't think that's an unfair thing to that's say that's one point i think it's a, it's just a such as far as what we're talking about it's a really low point I think the coffee at Starbucks is excellent. Mm-hmm. I buy the ground coffee and the pods in the store. I think it's I think it's impeccable coffee. I think there is a reason that it is everywhere. I don't think it's some corporate scheme. What was that? I don't know. It felt like an earthquake. Do you think it's somebody banging because we're yelling too oh, loud? Oh, I hope not. Okay. Okay. I don't think it's some corporate conspiracy scheme that we, we really... We got yeah. out of control again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's just, it's funny for you to stand by this, this corporation, this chain that you're talking to, like that you're making it so pure. If, if I'm guilty, Starbucks is guilty. The only thing I could say is people are, know what they're getting when they go there. They're not being fooled and think they're drinking coffee. Don't realize how bad it is. Also, but that's, there might that's be, the there might be, there might be like, 5,000 products in a 7-Eleven and you're singling out Korean taquitos. I'm not, Sal. <laughs> I've said, and you weren't listening. They can I go said, in and Sal, choose. They can I choose said, not Sal, to eat shit. I said, Sal, if it's not the if it's not the heat lamp food, it's the chips in the bag that are terrible for you. If it's not that, it's the candy aisle terrible. If it's not that, it's the, it's the cakes aisle terrible. I'm sure they if have, it's not they have that, protein it's the, bars. They have whole unsalted almonds. That you can make choices. I'm in sure. There. Yes, there are a few things in there that you'd <laughs> never want to eat. You go for cigarettes. You but, go for the yeah. newspaper. You go for a beer. You, it. That's right. what it is. And Look, you're clearly going to win this, so let's just let's just go. Oh, to humble you didn't pie. think that before you saw the phones. You definitely didn't think that. You said before that. that, that I thought you would Starbucks. Win. I thought. I, I don't thought, know that I'm going to win. I didn't see one pro Starbucks comment. You never know. Okay. You never know. All right, we've got 5,700 uh, votes. I, in general, I hear people gripe about things about Starbucks. In general, I hear that every once in a while. I never hear people go in on a 7-Eleven because there's no need to. They're, they know what they are. No one's going to be like, 7-Eleven? Yeah, they know. Starbucks is the one that's like, oh, he's a code to use our bathroom. Uh, yeah, you, you can't come in here just to use the Wi-Fi. Wait till we call your name. Get online. Listen or, to Sam yeah, McLaughlin's yeah, it's, it's, five albums. It's really terrible of Starbucks to go spend three fifty and you can sit here all five day. Dollars for a that's cup all we're asking. Five dollars for a cup of that's coffee is where asking. the world started to turn and go downhill. <laughs> when they, in a billion years from now, when they're tracing this back and they're going over everything, they're going to say, "You think that, Starbucks is far?" I'm going to say the day the Earth accepted a five dollar cup of coffee was the day we. It's began not to a five dollar cup. Of coffee, it's a two. It's a two dollar and sixty five cent cup of coffee. It's not a five dollar cup their of coffee. Seller. Their best seller is but you can't. But that doesn't matter. They're Sal. pumping all sorts that of. That doesn't sh- matter. That's like me saying a, 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 a small soda at Seven Eleven is the same as a giant Slurpee. It's not the same you, thing. You, 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 it's so funny that you're talking about healthy foods. They have. They have caramel in pumps. They have hot sauce, I chocolate. Understand. They have whipped cream. I they understand. Have, they, they are pumping I sugar understand. into the coffee. I understand. Pumping. I understand. Vats of it. But you have a fighting chance. Yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. All right, let's go to Humble Pie. Let's see what we got here. We got 6,000 votes. V is hovering over Starbucks. I have a feeling I'm going to get walloped here. Here you go, baby. Those are my people out there. Yeah. I love you. 7-Eleven takes it. Seven, and I didn't know that they would, but 7-Eleven takes it 61.9% to 38.1%, which is handily, handily. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something right now. Starbucks is the behemoth. This, we're done. It is the worldwide leader in, in that market. It has the market share. It is nothing to sneeze at. So it had a f- level playing field. Mm-hmm. I, th- I do believe it did. Mm-hmm. You know? Like I said, you're talking about like uh, uh, yeah. metropolitan people. People, You're talking about coastal people. We're done. What about the middle of the country? We're done. Do you know how the show works? We're done. I'm just saying. We're just, done. Don't be a sore it's, winner. It's some we're afterthoughts. Done. We're done. <laughs> by the way, people, by the way, people, if you could get him inside of a 7-Eleven, I will give you the savings in my bank account right now. <laughs> I've never heard of Congratulations, guys. $10 is coming life. your way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that wasn't the joke to make here? Yeah, okay. Are you go serious? Ahead. Can we I'm end a professional it? professional comedian. Can we end it? Uh, Profesh? Yeah. Can we end it? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the joke to make there. It was. Say but the I was closing fine line. I kind of think you're all right still. <sighs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah.